Uh, what the hell? What is that? All right, hold on, Lee. Let's dial you up some rest. <gasps> you crazy genius bastard. Next time, get a project, buddy. All right, time to get out. Answer the phone. Hey guys, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We're back in the assembly for Chapter 8. We're back in Cal Pearson's shoes. This chapter's called Breakout, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so let's answer the phone real quick, just to make sure that nobody gets suspicious, and we'll go from there. Caleb, this is Dr. Chavez. I'll take it from here. Thank you. She did good, but you expected that, didn't you? Dr. Stone could be an invaluable addition to our work. The only question mark surrounds her temperament. Yeah, she seems a good kid. I'd hate to see her tossed in the truck with her memory wiped in a one-way ticket back to New York. That's the price of failure. See you later, Caleb. Not if I can help it. <laughs> Time to your arm. Position that transport and hightail it to the CDC. Contact Gerard to arrange transport. All right, fine. Uh, do we want to look around real quick? But, but first of all, can we just memory wiped? Yeah, that's not great. There's a little fine print for you when you apply for the job, or I guess get kidnapped for the job. All a bad dream, and then they toss you in the truck. Nice. No idea what Gerard's number is. I should email him. All right, well, I'll do that in a second. Um, let's just keep looking around. I don't know if anything changed. Maybe there could be more stuff. We looked through this place pretty thoroughly, but there's no harm in looking really quickly one more time. Although, you know, I trust... Oh, oh I remember this guy. He bailed on trial four. Four. Mm, nerve interface expert. Probably planned to put him down in Aug Med with Annabelle. Yeah, she'd cut off her own arm so long as they replaced it with a sweet cyber prosthetic. Okay. Um, I don't think we. I don't think uh, Madeline has been to trial four yet. I think that's the next one for her. There is more stuff to find, so I'm not completely wasting your time. Sorry about that. What's this? Candidate 0961 Patel, activity log 305. 961 has restarted for the third time. She clearly comprehends the nature of this task, but is taking a measured approach. This fits with the behavior exhibited thus far in the trials. Oh, cool. So that is, it's what we heard last time. That's the, it's the same recording. Um, and that's the one where Alex is going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about Alex. And I don't want to listen to that again. Uh, let's look at the computers. Maybe there are new emails, that's for sure. Or we can email... Uh, what's his face? Gerard. Right, this is for the office planning thing. What about here? Can we do something? Right. Here we go. Name, Caleb Pearson, driver, passenger, driver. Transport time. Next available departure zone early. Entry alpha. That's not gonna raise suspicion, Caleb. Come on, man. Submit. Automated reply received. Yeah. This is an automated response. Do not reply. Or transport is postponed during Dr. Stone's trial. Eh. I will therefore be out of my office until tomorrow morning when I will deal with your request. If you request... Must be the only guy in the whole damn place who sleeps through trials. Sorry, buddy, but this is an emergency, all right. Gerard in residential block F3. Okay, if your request is an emergency, contact me in my quarters, room 3, 3D, res block 53, only for emergencies, Gerard. Okay. Well, let's go to residential block. Back? No. Definitely not back. But this is, this is now closed. Okay, so everything's now closed, I think. Right? All right, so let's go to the. Wow, while I was in there, they really Listen sealed. The elevators at the other end. I was gonna say they really sealed this place off while I was in there. Crazy. Cool though. Uh, it it you know helps with the progression, but doesn't like take you out of the. Hey, someone's in there. Nice. Elevator. Wow, they really locked this place down. Security's got it locked down. All right, let's go up the elevator then. Right. Right. Elevator 12. Fine. Ah, here we go. Hope Chopper's lab keeps you busy, boys. Busy for a long time to come. 
Here I come, Gerard. Try not to be too mad. Okay. I kind of like how you see the... Mm, see the other... Oh! Thought we would be going out that way. Alright, I kind of like how you see the other side of the corridor as well. Now, where the hell is room 3D? More importantly, what, what the, the hell? hell happened here? Yeah, I'm with you, man. Somebody's bowl of checks. Looks like cereal of some kind, maybe. But yeah, that is um somebody got really angry. What do we got here? Portraits. Alright, we'll look at that in a second. Let's read let's listen to this. This is Gerard. Have you even read my email yet? What are you going to do about it? That cacophony you can hear is my neighbor's sound system. I demand a resolution. There it is. 3D. Oh, here. Around and that way. But we'll uh, we'll look around first. Security key cards are all in there. Okay, might need security key cards. Uh, let's rummage through here. Ooh. So they're planning to build this place out even more. <laughs> like it's not crazy enough. Definitely a good time for me to get out. They are hiring new people. Dossier collected. Cool. What else we got? Nothing. Come on, push me. We can't. We can't let people know that we were here. Here we go. Uh, we'll take a look at the computer in a second. Let's just look further around this entryway. I like this. Nice and Babylonian. Maybe Assyrian. Assyrian. Yeah, there you go. Assyrian Bass Relief. Donated by Randolph Ford, 1997. Cool. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Further Assyrian. Gonna be the same thing? Yes, 1997. Um... Uh, I'm seeing a security camera. That's not great. All right, let's look at the email or the computer real quick. Uh, D Brothers, password updated. I cannot fulfill your request to directly divulge the latest passcode for the security door. Huh. The sanctioned password clue is a date with Dr. Ford. 1997, I imagine. This is sensitive data. I'll delete this email once read. Okay, 1997. Uh, what was that hint, Brothers? A date with Dr. Ford. Yeah, 1997. Open sesame. There you go. Open it up. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go see Gerard until I've explored all this. Let's look at Brothers Locker. Ooh. F class master key for the whole floor. Nice. Excellent. Now, here's the problem. They're not going to be angry that I boosted all this stuff. I mean, I understand they're going to be angry that I went to the CDC, assuming I get to them before they, like, black bag me. But they're not going to be angry that I'm just stealing stuff and breaking in. I mean, that's that's actually criminal. Not for nothing. Uh -huh. A bunker full of geniuses and medics, but we still lock up the band-aids? You don't know what's in there. It could be morphine. That's why we lock it up. Um, storage. We have a key, maybe? We need a key? Maybe we'll find a key. Uh, let's look at the emails real quick. J. Kennedy, lost key card. Dr. Brothers, looks like you dropped your key card while you were hanging, horsing around with Dr. Baldwin. I've put it in your locker this time. If I find it on the floor again, I'll put it on the director's desk. F3 Security, Dr. Brothers, this week's code is 8462. Contact Gerard if you have any difficulty. Okay, 8462, uh, F3, right? F3. Okay, let's look at the map real quick. We'll, no we'll note, where are we? This is 3G. F3. The hell is that noise? Oh my god. Um, let me just make a quick note. 3G, 2X lockers. That's what I want. I just want to make that note. So Baldwin, Larson, there's an observation room. Shaw, Gerard, Dr. Brothers again. Let's go to Dr. Mm. 
Baldwin, that's Nakamura. Let's go with Baldwin first. Do we want to spy? Isn't Nakamura our ex? Do we want to spy? Like so what happened? He was yelling like a hobo. Like, he literally couldn't understand what was happening. And then out of... Wait, an actual fight? <sighs> More of a beatdown. Baldwin could hardly throw a swing. He didn't look right. Anyway, Brothers locks him up in his room. So now all I can hear is Baldwin babbling to himself. Baldwin's messing around with Silver Matter, right? What's he up to? Beats me. Uh, listen. I wanted to ask you something about Sasha. I, I mean, Dr. Benson. Oh, here it comes. Look, Greg. I'm the last person you want relationship advice from. Hey, at least you and Cal had a relationship. I haven't even gotten that far with Sasha. Hmm. A liaison in her room? How dare you. I'm locked, but I hear people inside. Alright, maybe I can get him out of there somehow. Alright. I don't like the fact that there's a camera there. I'm not a big fan of that. Is there any way to turn off these cameras? Any way. Any way at all. Really don't like those cameras. <laughs> okay. Nothing for me that way. Great. Uh, what is here? Key card's not working. Must be passcode locked. All right, fine. My new brothers was paranoid, but custom security. Okay, we got the code eight four six two. I don't want to again. I'm not talking to Gerard until we've looked around for everything else. Not exactly Fort Knox. Whoa. What's with the red light, dude? Little. Whoa. This is where all the light, the cameras are. Okay. Let's get this first. Oh, well, Larson gets to keep his memories on the outside. Yeah. Good call. Cool. This is the guy who was in the Nakamura's room just now. Okay. What the hell are you doing, brothers? Custom setup. What's he using it for? To snoop! Let's just look real quick through the drawers. Nope. Alright, let's look at this. Brothers is recording Larson's room. Must be part of his exit evaluation. I don't think so, dude. I mean, look at this. He's recording it to a phone. Brothers is recording Larson's okay. room. Must be part of his exit evaluation. Clearly doing something shady is all I'm saying. Here we go. Surely these can't all be files on Larson. He's nuts. Shit, there's enough uppers here to keep him awake till next millennium. Yeah, he's not doing the evaluation, Cal. You have to, like, wisen up a little bit. And if the assembly comes after me, I'll need all the evidence I can get for leverage. Okay. What else we got? Let's open these drawers real quick. Nothing. Some sort of audio recording. Come on. No. What's this? Why does Brothers have Strakel's passport? Because he's doing some shady stuff. This is like corporate espionage, man. I mean, I wouldn't want to get caught on camera. Oh, he turned it off. Perfect. This is what I was talking about, man. Thank God we went to turn it off before we started snooping after everybody else. He just has us recorded on uh, his his camera. That us going into his room. All right, you got to replace your toilet paper. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Yeah, close the door. Anything here? Oh. Baldwin observations, part twelve. Baldwin appears to have suffered some kind of psychotic break. I've locked him in his room in the hope he'll calm down given time. Later today, I'll assemble a secure escort and remove him to isolation. Okay. Anything else? I mean, maybe his brother's like head of security. Probably he's head of security, which is why he's like borderline paranoid here. Anything else? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Cameras are off? Well, they're not recording, at least. Now, this is Gerard, but let's... Let's see what's on the other end, yeah? Unlocked, but I hear people inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're still in I guess okay. this is where Baldwin got oh. apprehended. Oh, that's what broke it. There's an award. And okay. Do we want to go and see what Baldwin's up to? Right, that's Baldwin, Larson, Shaw. 
Baldwin? Baldwin. Hey there, can you hear me? Hello? Howard? Howard, is that you? Howard, listen, I was right. I, I was. And now they'll never forget what I did. They may call me a monster, but it's there in my head, and they can't take that away from me. You can see it, can't you? Growing, expanding. Tell me you can see it. The universe is laid before me. I see it all. It's all so clear. So painful. Oh, God, the pain. Jesus Christ, Baldwin, what did you do to yourself? Uh, what the hell? What is that? All right, hold on, Lee. Let's dial you up some rest. <gasps> you crazy genius bastard. Next time, get a project, buddy. Nuts. Okay, so he's out, because I guess he has a chip in his head? I don't know, that we, like, turn to sleep. Um... We got, we got a, a little history lesson here? No? No. Okay, what's he got in his drawers? Sorry, Baldwin, we're, we gotta look, okay? Because when you vacate your, your office, the first thing you do is you ransack everything. Child Prodigy, Net Science Grand Slam. Cool. He's like a savant. Uh, Tau Board of Excellence, Neuroscience, Uncertain Science of Memory, Teen Superstar Presents an Award. Cool. No? Computer's off? With his little roller bag. Everybody's got a roller bag in this place. That's crazy. Uh, no. Him? Lee, did you take the silver matter device? For God's sake, tell me you're not testing it on yourself. You know it's not ready. It could do serious, serious irreparable damage. Call me right back, okay? I want to know you're all right. That sounds even worse than this looks. It's what we have in our head. We, we picked it up, the Silver Matter device. Remote operated brain implants to alter chemical balance. Crap, it's a dial -a mood That's what we did. We have the device, and so since he has it in his head, we just dialed in to, you know, get him some sleep or something. Okay. We'll look at the computer in a second. What's What else do we have on his drawers? No. And of course, the problem is if you dial yourself way too harshly, you can't go back, right? Because you're not sane enough, or you're not stable enough. I don't know. Open this. I'm sorry. You're not stable enough to um to dial yourself back, right? Diary entry: two thirty, one of one, two thirty p.m. This is the moment of truth. Either I have taken the first step on the path to mankind's future, or I have made a terrible mistake, but progress always demands risk. Six minutes ago, I administered a silver matter prototype into my cerebral cortex. Thus far, it is dispensing the formula into my brain at expected rates. When bonding is complete, I will attempt to induce the first emotional state change. 3.47 p.m. Amazing. Silver matter is performing beyond even my expectations. The neural bond is stable, and new chemical balances take effect immediately. I am currently in a heightened state of focus, accompanied by a growing sense of euphoria. I have already resolved two logical dilemmas to which I was previously blind. 423. Some discomfort, itching, best way to describe, back of my head, unanticipated, itching, beyond physical, unexpected. Oh my god, he's turned into, um, Morden from Mass Effect. Uh, 4.41 p.m. The discomfort has gone. All is well. The spikes in brain activity are to be expected, given Silver Matter's path to success. This room is too dark. I can hear the walls breathing. All is well. 4.46 p.m. The room is too dark. I can hear the walls breathing. All is well. Oh, no, no. 4.46. Oh. Yeah. Then he goes insane. Okay. All right. Well, that was interesting. Uh, basically broke his mind. I'm just leave him like that. We didn't just leave him like that. Put him to sleep. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got Larson, and we've got... Um... Someone whose name I can't remember. Let's go here. Housekeeping. <laughs> Dr. Shaw. Cool, this is a really stylish room, man. Look at this. I like it. Virginia Apgar. 
She's best known for her work in postnatal care. Okay. Is there anything here worthwhile? No. Whoa, that is one sweet setup. Oh, dude. Look at this. He's got guitars and stuff, and he's got all sorts of sound systems. Dang. Wow, Shaw's a jazz fan. Always seem more of a dubstep guy. Really? Okay. They're not mutually exclusive either, man. That's all I'm saying. Uh. Shaw? It's Dr. Larson. Listen, I know Gerard is an ass, but he's kind of got a point about the 2 a.m. tunes. Could you maybe try using headphones? <laughs> right, because he's right. not making many friends around here. Because he's right through the wall. Man, I totally didn't realize he'd like. Gerard is right through this wall, I think, or through this wall. So obviously, when he plays music and he's got six speakers right here, bam. Right, right into Gerard's room. Okay, anything else? Right, right. Can we play? No. Shaw's a real audio freak. I've seen riot control sound wave cannons that make people feel sick, but this one makes people laugh. <laughs> okay. Makes me laugh. Uh, what do we got in here? Man, nobody's got toilet paper. What the hell? There are pranksters on this floor, man. Anything? 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 Nah, it'll only draw attention. Fine, says you. And he doesn't have a computer. I do like the... Oh, 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 it's because it's, it's a bunch of cables. Um, doesn't have a computer, got rid of it for all the sound from it. Okay. Let's go check out Larson's room, because he's with Nakamura. I'll try not to make a mess. He's leaving, so what does it matter? Whoa. They all, like, I guess you get awards in, internally, right? Nope. Reminds me of Larson's disaster of a pool party. What kind of pool party can you have when you're stuck underground? I wonder. Maybe that's the point, huh? Part of Larson's final assessment before they let him out. Hmm. Now here's a guy who really did put a dent in the universe. A lot of projects listed there. He's a botanist. Dent in the universe. Uh, I don't know. There was some... I have no idea. I was gonna say I, I get it, but I don't. What the whole point here is. Oh, whoa. Okay, hold on. Maybe he's trying to make the place look nice for Sasha. Okay. Greg, it's Sasha. Are you there? I, I got your note and, well, yeah, I want to talk. We should definitely talk. Maybe before you leave tonight. Or we could grab coffee sometime on, on the outside. I'd really like that. Keep it Pearson strikes again. Have fun, you kids. Yeah, that's um, that's because we left the note next to the chocolates in like episode one, two, something like that. Okay, poem twenty-four. My dearest Sasha, you brightened my days. Ne'er I thought love would bloom in this unlikely place. No, 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 terrible rhyme, and I hate that pun. Maybe Anton can help. Anyway, number twenty-five. That was, that was, there was something very sweet in how bad that poem was. Um, I know we haven't looked at the computer yet, I just want to look at all the drawers and stuff. I mean, they would be empty, right, because he's leaving. But, let's look at the computer. Dr. Evans, good luck. Hey, Greg, I heard that you're leaving, finally getting cabin fever down here, question mark. Either way, it was a privilege to work with you. I know we didn't team up for long, but the advancement we made, advancements we made together may well have saved Gunter's life. Don't forget about us when you go, unless uh, Brothers makes you. <laughs> God, it's dark. Just kidding, I'm sure they won't do that. Sincerely, Miss Freeze. Okay. The director, a farewell. Dr. Larson, I must apologize for delaying your, delaying your exit, but as you may expect, I'm preoccupied with Dr. Stone's trials at the moment. It's selfish of me to postpone your dealings, I confess, that our farewell is more for my benefit. You have achieved a great many things during your tenure and you will be sorely missed when the trials are passed please stop by my office so that i can express my gratitude in person um okay well that doesn't seem sinister really 
Big enough for two. Looks cozy. God, Cal. Leave it alone, will you? Okay. Uh, this is observation. Yes, it is. It's a little emptier down here. Mostly because I'm assuming a lot of people uh, are in lab areas. Okay, so. We've looked here. We've, we've dealt with that. Nakamura is... I mean, they're still in there, right? Unlocked, but I hear people yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, so then, let's go to Gerard. Who's right here. This is the last door here. Huh. Oh, yeah, that must be him. Gerard snores like a dinosaur. Right. Huh. Oh, yeah, that must be him. Gerard what? snores like... Hey, Gerard, it's Dr. Pearson. I need to requisition a transport for tonight. What the hell for? To get into town. Research project. You woke me up for this? Hey, I tried to book it through the system, but you locked it down and said to come here. For emergencies only. So now you can damn well wait till morning. Good night, Doctor. Crap, I need that truck. Maybe if I could use his login somehow. Expel Gerard from room 3D. Oh. Easy enough. How do you get a man who hates noise out of room 3D? Well, you turn up the volume. Okay, here we go. Go to Shaw's room. He's got a pretty, quote, sweet setup. Uh, where's the music? Here we go. This one goes out to Gerard in room 3D. For now, anyway. God damn it, Shaw! Can't I even get some peace on a trial day? I'm going straight to security, and when I get back, I'm gonna tear up those speakers with my bare hands! Serves you right, you sanctimonious prick. Alright, that's turned off good. Shaw's out of his room. So... Let's go back. Where the hell is security? You goddamn useless work, shy luckies. None of you is worth a shit. If the CDC blacklists me, maybe I could get a new career as a cat burglar. Uh, if you know where to look for all the security codes, dude. Pretty much it. Let's just quit through his room before he comes back. Come on. Uh, nothing. Hey, Gerard, we're not doing anything. We're just looking through all your drawers. Before I use this computer, we got here for a sound. Gerard, it's Smythe. While Gunter is uh, away, we need you to keep a watch on Adam. We did what we could, but he's not ready to operate without supervision yet. Just go down the checklist and don't screw around with the personality boards, okay? Really? Okay. What's this, though? Jesus, Gerard stole a trial prop to use as a paperweight. What an ass. Is this from, like, the medieval version of the Liar's Feast? Big... Historical research? Gerard does love to get his facts straight. Okay. What else we got? I do like the purple lighting. It's kind of nice and moody. Uh, let's look through the rest of the drawers. No. Okay. Bingo. Private terminal. Right, not yet, man. Oh, he's got... To, okay, fine. You know what? Let's get it. Let's go to the computer. Shit, not even a passcode reminder. Come on, gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Hmm. I don't need hints. Oh, better not be in there. It'd take me weeks to read all this. I do not have time for this shit, Gerard. Oh, better not no, be in there. Never mind. It'd take me weeks to read all this. Come on, Cal, think. Let's see. I wondered who was lifting this stuff from the trial rooms. No code clue, though. Shit, this is hopeless. Oh. This is Gerard in F3. I'm busy. Leave a message. Hey, Cal. Cal, I know you're in there. Pick up the phone. Huh? Anton? Anton, how the hell did you know I was here? Sorry, Cal. 
but I can't let you leave. What are you talking about? You started this whole thing. I gotta get out of here or I'm a dead man. I can't explain here. Meet me in block I-1, room H. I-1? That's where the nanotech lab blew up. That place is still a wreck. What in God's name are you up to? Like you said, if you don't escape soon, you're a dead man. So come as fast as you can. Holy crap. The kids left me high and dry and I'm carrying the goddamn evidence in my pocket. Okay, let's get out of here before uh, Gerard comes back. I won. Alright, back to the elevator, I suppose. Right? Okay. Back here. Come on, come on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Come on. I don't like just waiting around here for an elevator. Looks bad. Okay, alright, go. Anton, what the hell are you up to? Hello again, Madeline. I hope you didn't mind spending some time with Dr. Pearson. Not at all, Dr. Chavez. It was very interesting. That's one way of putting it. Now, your next trial is ready. Uh, okay, so we'll call it there for now. Uh, next time we come back, we'll do Madeline's next trial, and we'll go from there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts, you know, on what happened in Cal's section, you think I overlooked something, you think I could have done something differently, by all means, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And uh, in either case, I'll see you all next time. Better, 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 better